Thanks for watching, everybody. This is a vlog from a new place called The Links at Summerlee. This is a golf course out in Lake Elsinore, California, a place that I like a lot. I like this golf course a lot. It's a links style course, obviously, from the name. And it sits kind of in a basin uh, around these mountains. So it's, it's on a real flat land here. Anyway, the first hole, there is all trouble left. It's just like a marsh and scrub to the left and, and uh, openness to the right and two bunkers in the middle. And I hit that just perfect. And that felt great because a couple times I've come out here to play and you hit your opening tee shot just a little bit left and you lose your ball. It just ruins your, your whole mood right off the bat. But that was a good one. Hit it straight and then hit a good wedge shot from about, I think that was 94 yards. So hit a good wedge shot, just pin high, and I got a birdie chance right off the bat. You'll see another intro that I did actually on the course in a minute, so just bear with me. All right, so panning around, you kind of see the basin that we're in, surrounded by low hills on one side and then actual mountains on the other. For birdie, just a little too firm to actually fall in on that line. Moving on, the next hole is a par five. Yeah, so that's a four. I love when they put these little maps on the scorecard. The next hole is a par five. You can see there, that's that second hole there. That little strip running across at two different ways, or, uh, they call them berms here. And uh, it's basically dry creeks that if your ball goes in there, you can't play it at all. So on this par five, I hit a, a really good hybrid off the tee because I could only hit it like a max of Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm at the Lynx at Summerlee. I'm staying with my in-laws out here in the Inland Empire. And um, this is in California. And uh, this course, I really like this course. So that's why I, I, usually when I come out here to stay, I play this course. A lot of people um, don't like this course because it's very Lynx style, you know, it's not like a lot of courses we have here. Uh, you can see barely any like real trees that are in play. And, uh, but what I like about it is that uh, you, you have to know the course pretty well because there's all these burns and everything, uh, like, you know, little creeks and washes. And then there is some water on the course and then all these scrubby areas you can go to it can be pretty difficult. But the fun factor of this course is pretty high. And uh, they have some holes with some good length and stuff. And even though you'll see a lot of burnout spots because rain is sporadic out here and stuff, and uh, irrigation is, is spotty, but the greens are usually pretty good. And that's really 90% 90, 90 of how I care about a course's condition is the, the actual greens. So the greens are pretty good and the atmosphere here is cool. They did lower the prices quite a bit from when I used to play here, so now it, it does get quite crowded. But uh, I'm looking for I'm really looking forward to playing this because this will be the first time in a long time that I've played 18 holes. I'm playing with a father and son. It's the day after Thanksgiving uh, here in America, a big holiday, and it's I'm playing with this father and son. They're really nice guys, and the the father was just telling me that. He retired a year ago, and five months after he retired, he had a stroke. So he's it, that was you know so that was only seven months ago that he had that stroke. So that's pretty impressive that he's out here playing golf. So I'm gonna try to have fun. This is a par five. There is like a creek or a wash that goes through it, so I couldn't really hit driver unless I was absolutely positive that I was gonna carry it over 270, and that's just not worth it. So I hit a. Uh, hit my hybrid and hit it good down the middle, so we'll see. Yeah, so good shot, hit it about 225 or so, something like that. And now have another hybrid, but it's, it's a fairly long par five here, so uh, won't this one won't get there. And especially the way I hit that, that was, went just a little to the right in the right rough, but just wasn't solid at all. I think that was off the toe. Kind of, with my golf swing, recently the less rotation i'm feeling the less twisting and not only in my hands and, and arms but also in my body 
it should things should feel a lot more linear for me right now to be swinging well. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, made good impact and, and got that going right at the right at the hole, but it came up just a little short left. This is also for birdie, so two reasonable birdie chances in the first two just uh, nice. holes. Nice. nice. So I'm one under for the round after two. I got to vlog this entire 18 holes, which was fun. The guys that I were playing with, that I was playing with, were really nice guys. They they end up quitting after nine holes. So then I I played by myself for a little bit, and then I joined some other guys. So, and I was able to film the whole thing. It doesn't really slow me down too much. This is a par three, and that one I dug that, put it right into the ground. But um, I'm still using this Titleist AVX ball, which goes really far so even though I put that into the ground I did hit it pin high and didn't really okay. know how to this super sloping away from us here so didn't really know how to play that if I had chipped it I would have had to done one of those chips that goes real high and spins I and mean, that's just out of my pay grade for sure so I tried to putt it so par birdie bogey start a square around that one so even par going on to the fourth hole this is a, a long straight par four bunker not really more of a waste area down the left hand side and then actual bunkers on the right and so I am in need of a good drive here and that was good that was a well balanced drive I hit that well one thing I can say about this golf course that I like, because I was just doing it a second ago, I love any golf course. Oh, let me shut my card off. One, say, oh. One thing I can say about this golf course that I've noticed that I really like in any golf course design is any bunker area that you can drive your cart into is awesome. That, that it just, for some reason, feels really cool. Waste area or bunker area that you can drive your cart into, like, um, PGA West, they have that, and uh, they have it here. And Kiwa Island, I think, when I played there. I love doing that. I hit it right down the middle around there. I'm waiting for these guys to go. I think I have, it looks like 140 in or something. You can see on that drive, I choked up on it quite a bit and kind of kind of looped it a little bit. Almost, it was like a Ricky Fowler feeling a little bit. It was kind of my anti-left swing but did all right this place normally when you come out here today's black friday so there might not be a lot of people doing it but normally when you whenever you come out here you see um people skydiving just going up and down up and down and, they, and you see them just falling out of the plane falling out of the plane and the parachutes going up so uh it's not going on today it's it's interesting because this place was a real victim during this is your ball This place was a real victim during the uh, financial crisis, the housing bubble. And there was nothing going on here. And now uh, all those housing tracks were all empty and now they're all brand new built houses. And one of the cool things they have here is the minor league baseball stadium there, the Lake Elsinore Storm. So it's kind of a happening area right now. All right, this is like 162 yards or something and I'm gonna put, hit kind of like a somewhat punchy seven iron and I clipped that nice I, I hit it hit it well just uh, low and a little left that was really nice solid super low you can see I, 153 was a little much for that shot so um, so I just played it like a little punchy and a little low all right that's where I was in the fairway and I have to see where it landed because I'm surprised that choked up my seven iron went all the way. That's like a one a one seventy seven iron for, that was choked up and low. So I must have must have hit without much spin or something. So that went quite far for what I hit. So medium length, kind of long lag here from the fringe, and hit it with great weight. 
pretty close. So that, so that was that was a good result from where I was. This for par to stay even for the round. Made that. I was thinking. I, I think I might say this on camera later. I'm not sure if I did. But I was thinking when it comes to course conditions, and I don't know if you guys are the same way. Ninety percent of how I feel the condition of a golf course is good or bad yeah. comes down to how good the greens are. So even if there are waste areas and scrub and bare spots and all the other stuff like that, it doesn't really bother me as long as the greens are decent and the greens are, are good here. So and especially like this, having all these bare areas and like kind of crazy spots like this spot I just found here on this part four would really bother me at like a parkland style course, but at like a uh, link style course, it just doesn't bother me as much. All right, so I got, I gave myself that first shot from the waste area, I gave myself a bad yardage and I, I hit it over the green. I actually was shooting the reeds past and then uh, chipped up short and then hit a good chip onto the green, made a bogey. So I'm one over at the moment. Got a good chance here to get one back though. This is a, a par five, but a rare par five. It's very rare for the par fives out here to actually have a par five that you can really hit driver at. Unless you can like consistently and know for sure that you're gonna hit driver over 270 carry. Uh, which is what where all these berms are, then you shouldn't. You really have to hit a hybrid on a lot of the par fives. This one, you can hit par five off the tee, and then I hit hybrid for the second shot, which came just barely over that burn there, and chipped it up to the green. And I have a birdie chance here, jumping off of there without injury. Very nice. Not outside the hole. Alright, so I have this reasonable chance for birdie to get back to even par. I've not actually been putting very well recently. I've changed something about my setup. You know, see how I'm a lot closer to the ball? That, that was the good read. I just and I keep pulling it. I have to change where All my right, There's a are. creek out there. you got to hit it 265 or something to get over it. But once you do that, it's it's really open, so normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm just gonna do it. Try to hit it high up and over that creek. So there's the challenge. Hit this ball in the air, 265, straight, and then have it roll out. So, and I hit it pretty good. Uh, I keep missing the center of the face, but I did hit it pretty good. Stayed in the air and got over the dry creek thing. Mm -hmm. Can you see the parachuters there? Right by those houses? Very tiny. They just jumped out of that plane. That's the first group of the day and now they're gonna be up and down, up and down all day. Up there higher against those clouds, you can see more parachuters. I'm sure. Nobody's ever landed on the golf course as far as I, I can tell, but it's just there on the other side of those houses. I would hate to see a guy thump right there. Or it laid even worse. All right, there's my ball there and I just landed on the other side of this. And uh, you see Trace in there, there's a flag. You hit it enough, you get it there. That? All right, so this is 43 yards. Parked on the other side of the burn there. And got a good setup. And I just hit that so good. It felt awesome. Like I could feel every oh, single oh, every nice. single groove on it. And it went in. It had two little 
a little bit of action, some flying high. <laughs> Whoa. Nice shot, bro. On video. That was, oh yeah. All right. That is a two. Yeah. AVX ball, this thing spun nice. Landed right there, checked twice and went in. All right, so one under par now. That was great. That felt really, really great. Um, mostly because it just, the impact itself, it wasn't like one that went in and was like screaming and hit the stick and went in like and got lucky. Now this hole is here is the eighth hole. This is normally the hardest hole in the golf course for me because there's a huge ravine in the middle of the fairway. 72. You can see just in front there. And it's very long too. I'm gonna hit a seven. But they have trimmed down that ravine. It feels ravine. like it's helping and I don't mind if it's a little short because that's a blue flag. Yeah, they have, uh, I don't want to talk over myself too much. They have trimmed down that ravine a little bit. There used to be all kinds of brush and scrub there where you could barely right? see over it. All right, this is 172 yards to the green. It's also a pretty long hole too because it impact sounded great. Made a good divot, headed pin high on the left fringe. All right, pulled a little bit, hit a pin high. It's a nice divot, but recently, in order for me to hit the ball straight, I have to feel like, all right, birdie putt. This is actually closer than I thought. Oh, I cut that out. What I was going to say was, recently, to hit the ball straight, I have to feel like I, my I feet. I like putts from the fringe. I have to feel like my feet are aligned, the flag to line 15 up a yards bit. left, and I have to hit like a 15 yard push draw. So that's like the alignment thing that I'm working on now. This putt is for birdie. Just a little short, so have that for par. And that's in for par. I'm trying to rush because the guys in my group are, are coming up now, too. All right, so this shot I put in here before because I was here about seven years ago, and we were driving down the cart path, and I saw a rock kind of like that rock, and I kicked it in order to, like, just goofing around like okay let me kick this rock apparently it was just like the tip of the iceberg and I almost broke like I almost tore my knee to shreds like I couldn't even walk the rest of the day thank god I didn't actually hurt myself but it uh th I kicked the rock the rock didn't move at all and I twisted my knee really bad so word to the wise don't do that hit a good solid, solid seven iron or no, not seven iron but we're pretty far out there I think it was five iron, but right, it was right, blocked right. And I really want to make this, I'm one under at the moment after that awesome eagle. I really want to make this up and down. Felt good. Felt great off the face, but it landed right in line with the stick and then rolled out left. I just, uh, I'll have an uphill putt. I misread, I misread the green completely. I should have landed that five or seven yards, five or seven feet to the right of that, and then had it go out. So now this is for par to shoot one under. Let's see how I do. Stay tuned, everybody, because there's some oh, interesting man. information coming up. Darn. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I shot even par on the front nine with some good shots, some bad shots, and one awesome shot, so that was fun. I'm doing something interesting now. I'm going to be giving away a free Be Better Golf t-shirt every single video I put up from now until the rest of 2017 and probably into 2018, probably until I run out of these t-shirts. So if you want to get a free t-shirt, I'm giving away a free one every single upload I put up. All you have to do is click subscribe and leave a comment below and I'll give away a free t-shirt. You have to be subscribed, hit post notifications and just leave, a, leave some kind of constructive comment Probably the longer comments will get, um, uh, it'll go through a random thing, so actually it won't really matter, but uh, I'll give away a random subscriber who leaves a comment, a free Be Better Golf t-shirt every single video. So you wanna always check back and watch every video or at least put a comment into every video uh, to have a chance to win. And then I'll have um, Justin, my guy, send you, send you a t-shirt. They're really cool actually too. Thanks for watching everybody. So hit like, hit subscribe, and 
c'est l'accent.